What's going on guys, Kyger here. In today's video, we're going to talk about Battlefield. We're going to talk about the mechanics of it, how to get the most points, and what to get in the shop. Let's get into it. Alright, so first I'm going to go over the actual Battlefield itself, then I'll go over the monsters to bring in, and why, and then I'll go into the shop. So first we have the map right here. This is what the map looks like as soon as you get into it. So if we take a look, the uh, each spot uh, on the screen, let me see, on the screen, each of these little areas where you come in uh, has a crystal, a small crystal, then you get the medium crystals in the four corners. This one's already been taken. Then you have four more in these corners. These two have also been taken. And there's the big one in the middle. Then there are two of these mini bosses in the red that show up. And then you have little uh, vases on the ground as well as little monsters on the ground. So each of the uh, many crystals in each of these spots that don't ever show up on the map but they are in fact there they will give you 40 uh, stones per mine with a max of four uh, sorry five mines then each of the uh, vases and monsters will have between two or three drops of 25 uh, crystals so they're nice to hit when, if you are doing an AoE or what have you, they're pretty decent to get them while you're in the area. Uh, the mini boss right here is worth three drops of 600, so 1800 in total, and they go to the person who got the last hit on it. Now, these uh, mini uh, medium sized crystals are max 25 mines and they give 70 uh, crystals per mine. The big one in the middle uh, has 500 uh, attempts, so you're not going to ever mine it out, and it's 100 crystals at a time, but as you know, uh, it is one spot in the middle that everyone can attack. The four corner areas right here are where you have to go to turn in. I'll show you a better picture in just a second right here so this is what the area looks like uh, you go there this is what it looks like when you're turning it in uh, regardless if you have one or ten thousand points it'll take the same amount of time so don't worry about only taking it you know uh, 1200 or whatever at a time uh, the points are at the top the first 50k wins or when the timer runs out, whoever has the most wins. Then I suggest always having the map and the enemies uh, list open. And there's a few settings right here I want to show you how to do. Here. So when you click settings, this is what comes up. Targeting list. So ideally, depending on the team that you're doing, most are going to want to kill the summoner first. Just kill them, get it over with. Uh, and then you want to have it auto refresh every three seconds. If you turn it off, it won't refresh. But if you set it to every three seconds, then a uh, list of enemies in range will show up here every three seconds. Uh, instead of having to tap on your screen or tap on the monitor, uh, for whatever you're trying to focus, if it's him and his three monsters, it's going to be kind of hard to just focus him. But you can click his name right here, and then uh, if you click uh, his name there, then it won't be a big deal. You can also change the order. I don't really worry about that. Uh, show enemy summoner on. So he will show up on that list and for what I have uh, show enemy monsters off 
because I generally don't like to kill their Tessarian or whatever first. I want to just kill them, get it over with. Depending on the team you're doing, you may want to have this on. Show creatures would be things like uh, the little monsters around on the ground that uh, you can kill. Uh, uh, some people like to have this off so they don't misclick or whatnot. I'm not too worried because a Cleef's picture and a Scorpion's picture don't look the same to me. Now, let's talk about mining and fighting. So if we take a look right here, this is what it looks like when you mine. Uh, the bar fills up and you get one out of whatever's there. Now, there's a couple ways to do this. Some, uh, most people are just going to use the regular green picks. Uh, because they don't because uh, they don't want to uh, waste a bunch of money if you want to be hyper competitive with this uh, you can get higher tier picks and they the main reason you're getting higher tier picks is it reduces the time it takes to mine making these uh, sky stone outcrops a lot faster now let me talk to you about the things you're going to need in these game modes. Now there's one skill I want to bring up and that is down here bond enhancement change soul link every one second. That's going to be very very important if let's say this isn't the team that I normally bring in it's just the ones I had here to farm with but uh, if I need to use Chloe for vulnerability I can do that but then I can immediately with almost no cooldown switch to this Tassarian and go and do an attack. So it is a very important thing so you can do defense and offense with no issues. Now talking about Battlefield itself, as you'll see in the right, there's a countdown only available at certain times. You get three uh, entries per day. This can go past the cap. It also goes past the cap in an interesting way um, that let's say I have these 12 right here. If I do one today, it'll be 11 out of 12, but then at reset, it'll go up to 14 out of 12. Uh, you get three uh, possible extra recharges at the plus over here. One for 100 crystals, one uh, second for 200, third for 300 at 600 crystals a week. And I know um, even for the free to play players, I think this is something you wanna at least do one. Um, all three are worthwhile, but you need to do at least one to get a good amount of sky stones rolling in. They just added the ranking system where uh, you get rewards based off your ranking. Now, it only gives the really good rewards for the top 20, but everybody else gets 30,000 sky stones. I'll go over some battle strategy in a moment to give you an idea of what it's going to take to get in that top 20 bracket. Uh, a big thing is on the right, you'll see in the green and red, I'll bring it up right there, uh, unavailable and available means group play, inviting people to your party and queuing with them in your team. So that's only available during those two time slots. The other two time slots, only solo queue is allowed, meaning I don't have to worry about fighting a group of uh, people that are naturally going to be in sync with each other because they're in comms, talking on chat, what have you. Now, there's a couple things you're going to want. Now, Battlefield being an open area system, uh, some really good things you're going to want are things like invincibility which Chloe's a very good one to bring uh, block beneficial effects oblivion is huge uh, for people bringing monsters to protect their summoners as well as two of the three summoners have really powerful passives that you can just ignore uh, unrevivable is a very powerful thing as well uh, not to mention ignore death denying effects uh, things like where's he at Pungbeck is really cool because if we take a look uh, the skill right here uh, do, do, do unrevivable upon death ignores target death denial effect 
So there's several units that do this type of thing where uh, it, it if it kills the monster, then kind of a meta strategy that people do is they keep one or two revivers in the back so they can bring their main team back up. But if you lightning of cycle them, uh, they can't be revived for the entirety of the of the uh, battlefield, as well as ignore death denial effect. That's going to be soul protection. That's going to be uh, endure. That's going to be all these things. Just cut right through it. Be done. Another good example that uh, there there's a pass in the beginning of the game for, and that's Mara. If we take a look, unrevivable upon death. Ignores target's death denial effect and unrecoverable. So if they try to get away to heal, they also can't heal. Uh, all of her skills do all three of these things. Something else you're going to want is move speed up and down. Uh, they aren't required, but they can be an edge in uh, group combat. So this isn't going to be if you're going in solo to really worry about this but it's very very big if you're going in with groups and mainly there's uh, two big ones that people gravitate towards and that's Bernard with his level 2 move speed up which is 30% and the other one is Remy right here Waterhog with his uh, level one move speed down to reduce their movies movement speed by 30 uh, 20 percent so these are the key things you're kind of looking for when you go into it the team that I normally bring is uh, depending on what I'm trying to do uh, there's two main strategies right now in battlefield there was a big change where uh, you used to drop all your sky stones when you die, now you drop 10%. So a viable strategy is to just keep mining in the middle or the bigger ones to get 70 or 100 sky stones per pick and farm as much as you can and then go turn them in. Even if you get killed, it's not a huge deal because you're only dropping 10%. Then you're going to want a lot of defensive monsters like Chloe, like Juno, like Annabelle, uh, like Ariel, things like that, to just stay alive. Uh, Camellia is also a huge one to reduce uh, incoming crit damage. Uh, that's a viable strategy, but there's two things uh, that go against that, and that's primarily the Moon Shadow Shop. As you'll see, um, right here is the rank, and you need kills to get rank. And the rank is important for buying things in the shop. And the primarily what you're going to want to get to is the monthly purchase down here, Warrior 3 and Hero. Once you're at Hero, then you can kind of play however you want to play. And this currency right here is only from kills. Uh, you get an amount for playing and then you get double that for winning and then you also get plenty of sky stones from that now uh, you can go for the kills or you can go for the win slash mining mining is uh, pretty busted right now it's very very powerful uh, because even if they kill you it doesn't matter you already got 90 percent now if you're trying to kill people uh, killing doesn't naturally win you have to convert that into points but uh, if you're trying to kill uh, like a team I don't know uh, a team that I like to go with is something like uh, Juno Tessarian and Ethna uh, this is a chase down team and something that's uh, very important is range of skill and uh, to give you kind of an example of that is Juno, when I do this time skill up here, it shoots at that area. Now, Battlefield is very big on people moving around and whatnot, doing their dashes. And 
while it's a very powerful skill and will strip, you know, do all these powerful things, you're not really going to hit very many people because it only attacks that area. Whereas something like Tessarian, he will go, and as long as you were initially in the range, he will walk up and chase them and do the skill. Now let's talk about the shop itself. The What I'm looking for in the shop is all the Devilmon you can get. Uh, the four-star Devilmon isn't a huge thing. As you see, I didn't buy those. Um, every rank, there's a, a new five-star Devilmon that you can do a one-time purchase uh, for Skystones. And then Warrior 3 and Hero are monthly purchases for the Victory Seals. Uh, the four-star and five-star Rainbow Mon are up to you. Uh, I don't really get much of them, but, you know, uh, these three items down here uh, are a way to convert your Sky Stones into gold, and that's because they cost Sky Stones, and you sell them for gold. Uh, I like getting these, uh, well, uh, so the blue and the purple spell books. Uh, are very powerful for increasing your character. The purple being uh, very, very good because you can use those in your master quest. Uh, the bike frame is for a mount. Uh, they added a new mount. You get the three parts from different shops. Uh, they're pretty, um, they cost a lot. And you turn it in and have this really cool mount. Uh, mystical scrolls, uh, I. If you're doing a lot of battlefield, this is a good purchase, but it the it's kind of cost prohibitive, so you're going to need thirty, uh, you're going to need ninety a week, on top of the other stuff that you're buying, which can be kind of rough. Uh, on top of ten per day, this is a monthly legendary scroll if you're able to keep up with it. Then we have the outfit that gives support monsters HP. Uh, you want to be doing your regular weekly stuff that you normally buy and then uh, accumulate the currency to buy these after you're done with your weekly stuff. Now what I find very interesting is like I said over here, so most people use the green as you see mining speed 4 seconds, the blue one's 3 seconds, the purple one is 2.5, if you get it from the guild I believe it's 2 seconds and you can decide how you want to do it that way. What I find interesting down here is I just did a video on Galagos, and if you, uh, this is also a way to convert Sky Stones into gold, and that is, uh, these are actually kind of expensive for gold. Sky Stones is also a precious resource, so it's depending on where you're at in the game, but you can con you can buy these for Sky Stones instead of gold. Uh, I don't do that a lot, but it's nice to have that option in the game. I really hope this helped you guys kind of get a crash course on Battlefield, the things you're looking for, what you want to be doing. Uh, so you want to be mining. Mining is the most important thing in Battlefield, but the fighting and the kills is what ranks you up so you can open up the shop and purchase things. So it's kind of balanced. You have to... Uh, you have to work together and you have to balance because if you're just killing, then you're not mining. And if you're mining, then you're not killing to get the points to rank up. It would be r really nice if we had other ways to increase our rank instead of just kills, but that's what we're currently into. And till next time, guys.